Hey guys, welcome back. This is my Kermit that I make tutorials and today we're going to do a subscriber request. This one is for Charles. Uh, Charles asked me if I could model a chain link fence. Now actually I promised Charles that I would help him out a little bit doing some modeling for a game that he's developing. But unfortunately due to personal reasons, sickness in the family and so forth, I had to bail. So I feel a bit bad about that. Sorry Charles. But hopefully this uh, tutorial will help you anyway. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start off by creating a polygon cylinder and we're going to pull that up on a grid and we're going to increase subdivisions to make it nice and round. Let's say 40 or so. Okay, next we are going to cap that. Let's make this a bit thinner. I stretch it out a bit, something like that. Okay, next we're going to create a rubber top cap for that so we're gonna pull up another cylinder like so we're gonna hit F to zoom in and we're gonna give that some subdivision as well make that 40 we're gonna right click go to vertex drag select the top section and we're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale it out a little bit to make that something like that okay we're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. We're going to right click on the top here, go to edge, double click on that edge and go to edit mesh and bevel. Now we're going to increase segments, let's say 10, and we're going to tweak the offset a bit, something like that. All right. Now just to make things easy, I'm going to set the translate values to 0 on that one. So it's nice and centered, like that. And I'll take that guy and I'll do the same. All right, that will allow me to pull that up. So hit W, pull that up, something like that. And now we're going to <coughs> scale it down a bit to make it a good fit. Just pull it up a little bit. Scale it in some more. And scale it some more like that. Okay, cool. So we got those two. I'm just going to move them up onto my grid line. So hit W and pull that up. And you can see that's a little bit too thick for its height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to object mode, select that guy. I'm going to move my center pivot to the top here. So that's not going to move from its place. And I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale it out just a little. That looks a bit better. Okay. Drag select everything. And again, move it up on the grid something like that all right okay so now we've got that we're going to hit control d to duplicate it to about let's say something like that and we're going to hit shift to d to do that once more so this will be our fence section now on the middle one we don't want that cap because that's going to be a little bit different all right so now that we've got that we are going to create a couple of clamps left and right. For that, we are going to take a polygon pipe. And I typically like to initially model it a bit bigger than, you know, what it's going to be later on. So we can see it a bit better. Uh, let me see. We're going to do 40 subdivisions. That's not bad. The thickness, we're going to bring that down a bit, let's say 0 0.1, all right. We're going to go to our top view, hit F to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go to face, and uh, I'm going to select these two here, and I'm going to delete those. Maybe two more. Yeah, 
that's what I'm going to do. All right. Now we are going to take these two faces, hit Edit Mesh and Extrude. And we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that out just a little like that. All right. Check from our top view again. All right. Not bad. Yeah, actually, that's that's OK. Maybe we can just bring these edge lines in a bit. So right click edge. Take that line and that line. And scale them in. Oh, sorry. I had to drag those. Try that again. Drag these and drag these. That's a bit better. OK. So now that we've got that, right click, object mode. Now we got our first pole centered. So for this one, I'm going to, uh, let me see. Where do you go? Where do you go? There we go. Translate values to zero which will make that nice and centered. We're going to hit W. We're going to pull that way up. Hit F to zoom in. We're going to start scaling that in quite a bit. And uh, let's see if we can see it correctly. Yeah, a bit more. That's not bad. OK. And we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees. So make that 90. All right. And we're going to move that up a little bit to about there. All right. Now, we need one of those at that end as well. So we're going to hit Control D. We're going to move that over. Hit F to zoom in. Move that in some more. And we're going to rotate that one that way. And that will be minus 90 degrees. OK. Cool. Next, we are going to take one of these. And we're going to hit Control D. We're going to hit E to rotate it by minus 90. We're going to switch to our front view here. We're going to pull that in. Pull that down just a little bit. Something like that. And we're going to start to stretch that out. Let's see where we're at. OK. As you can see, it has to move down a bit, so I'm just going to Pull this over here so I can see it a bit better. Hit the insert key. You can move your center pivot. Hit W again. OK, I want that to be centered on the clamp that I made. And it's a bit too thick, so I'm going to scale that down just a little. That looks a bit better. OK, and stretch that out. So that should be inside the clamp. bit back, bit back, something like that. OK. All right, not bad. Uh, I'm going to move my center pivot to this point here so I can stretch it out or pull it back on the other end. So I'm going to hit R and I'm going to move that over there until I have approximately the same setup. So a little gap there, little gap there. OK. And then this guy has to come down a bit. So again, center pivot, hit insert key, pull it down there. We're going to hit R to scale that down. And we're going to scale that to about there. All right. So let's see what we've got so far. OK, cool. So now we need to create um, a little cap. So that will be a polygon cylinder. Just hit F to zoom in, pull it up a little bit, like so. We're going to give that some subdivision, let's say 40. 
we're going to right click, go to edge, double click on the edge, go to edit mesh and bevel. And again, increase the sub segments to 10. And we're going to do something like that. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to pull that up something like so and we are going to right click go to vertex drag select these two and we're going to move that in a little bit all right then go to edge drag select all these edges edit mesh and bevel and i want that to be a bit a bit sharper so something like that okay we're going to go to object mode, right click object mode. We're going to move that on top of this guy here. Gonna switch to my top view. Okay, make sure that you're nice and centered. That looks about right. And height wise, we're going to pull that up to about there and now let's see how this works out so select them both go to mesh combine and we're going to hit w just go to modify center pivot we're going to pull that up pull that over hit f to zoom in e to rotate by minus 90 we need to scale it down quite a bit. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to hit W. We're going to pull that in. We're going to move that over here. And we still need some scaling. Let's see if we're in the middle. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, and we just need to stretch that out just a little. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we're going to move it over here. And again, make sure you're in the middle. There we go. That looks about right. And uh, let me see. We need to bring these in just a bit. So right click edge. We're going to select those. Actually, I'm not going to select the edges. I'm going to select the vert vertices. I'm going to bring those in. And select those and bring those in. OK. So let's check that. That's cool. OK. So now we're going to take this guy. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate it. Move it over there. Hit F to zoom in. E to flip it around to 180, like so. I'm going to go to our top view, get that guy in place as well. So that would be about there. I need to scale this one back a little bit. Something like that. All right. Right click, vertex, drag click these two, push them in. Drag select these two, push them in. All right. So we got that. Next, we are going to create a polygon cylinder again. Drag that out, pull that up, F to zoom in. And we're going to decrease the, um, the number of subdivisions to turn this into 
this. All right, we're going to bevel it a little bit. Right click, edge, drag, select the top here, edit mesh and bevel. That's a bit too much, so we're going to make that a bit sharper, like so. Okay, right click object mode. We are going to hit E. We're going to flip it over by minus 90. And we're going to switch to our view here. And we're going to move that guy up here, roughly. We're going to scale it down big time. Something like so. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. And we are going to hit Control D. We're going to duplicate that over here. Hit F to zoom in. Something like so. Check from our top view to make sure that they're not floating in space somewhere. And that's exactly what they're doing. So there should be one down here somewhere as well. we go. We're going to bring that in. Yeah, see if we can get up close. Okay, so that looks good. And then that one should be fine as well. Yeah, all right. And we're going to hit Control. Uh, actually, we're going to go to Mesh and Combine first. Then we're going to hit Control D. We're going to move them over there. Modify Center Pivot. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate them because they're not the same at both sides. Make that 180. And we're going to hit W. At least we're going to try to hit W. It's not responding for some reason, so we'll do it this way. Hit W. And we're going to pull them in. And we need to make sure that they are positioned OK. So I'm going to hit the Insert key. I'm going to pull this guy over here. So we can see it a bit better. Hit W and move that guy in. All right. OK, so now we've got that. Now we're going to focus on this piece here. We need to, again, make a cap. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just make a new one. We're going to make a cap. We're going to pull that up. Um, we're going to increase the uh, subdivisions to 40. F to zoom in. And now we are going to create a, let me think, polygon pipe. Yep. We're going to pull that up a little bit. And we are going to hit E. We're going to rotate it by 90 degrees, like so. Uh, let me think, what else? We are going to decrease the thickness, not the thickness, the thickness to 0 0.1. That's what you get when you got stuff going on with your family. <laughs> okay. Hit F to zoom in. We're going to cut this a little bit. So right click face mode. We're going to drag select this part here. We're going to get rid of that. Maybe one more like that. Right click object mode. Yeah. 
not too happy with the number of segments. That's going to look a bit clunky. So just going to quickly repeat that, guys. I want it to look right. Okay, so we're going to go with, where is he? 40, that's better. Thickness 0 0.1, okay. E to rotate it by 90. We're going to cut this thing in half. I'll just quickly switch views, which will make it a bit easier. Okay, so right click, face. Uh, let's go from there. Get rid of that. Okay. Right click object mode. We are going to scale it down a bit to start with. Pull it in like so. And let's get this thing positioned. This is my top view. So obviously it has to fit inside. So I'm going to bring that in, something like that. I want to make sure that it's nice and centered. So that would be something like so. And now I need to stretch that up. Okay. And let's see how that will work out. Mesh combine. We're going to start to move that into position. Scale it down, 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 down. Just going to go to modify and center pivot. There we go. Pull that back in. We're going to go to our top view. So we can get this guy into position. It looks to be here. Okay, that's in the middle. Let's make sure we have the rest centered as well. And now we should be able to scale it to proportion. Hopefully that is going to work. Um, okay, so I need to go to mesh and separate. I need to take that guy and I need to pull him up a little bit more. So it's just that looks okay. We're going to go to wireframe mode. Okay, and we need to stretch those out a bit. Let's see what the best view is for that. Yeah, we're going to do that here. So that looks okay. We're going to go to vertex. No, not those. Vertex. Come on. That guy. Vertex. Ah, come on. That's the one I want. Vertex. There we go. Okay, so now, uh, let's see. Is there another way I can do this? I'll try. I'm going to go to object mode. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. And I'm going to do something like that. That's starting to look a little bit better. Modify center pivot. Like that. And now we're going to go to vertex and I'm going to drag select these. I'm going to scale them in. Drag select these. Scale them in, those, actually I'm going to scale these in a bit more, 
let's see what we got and whether that looks okay or horrible it's not too bad need to clean it up a little bit so I'll quickly do that so we're gonna pull these in a little bit Let's look again. Right click object mode. And it's not supposed to be exactly tightened on it, but this looks about okay. All right. So, okay, so we got that. <coughs> now to the tricky part the actual uh, chain link. Okay, so here we go. This is a bit tricky. Now, first of all, when you're doing this, um, if you want to use this in a game or something like that, then you're going to have a hard time doing that because the poly count is going to be huge. Okay? So, this is more for, you know, a detailed model. I'm going to scale it down quite a bit. Hit F to zoom in. Maybe a bit more. Okay. Now, make sure that you have enough height subdivisions because we're going to bend this thing. Okay, let's go with 40. Yeah, it's going to get really slow when I do that. Let's do 20. Okay. We're going to go up to animation, create deformer. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Nonlinear and bend. Uh, let's see where our bend handle is. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend. Uh, let's see. We're going to undo that. We're going to tweak the low bound. No. Nope. Tweak it some more. Uh, let me think, let me think. We're going to go with minus 90, like that, okay. We're going to select that guy. We're going to go to edit, delete by type, history. We're going to right click, go to face, and we're going to drag, select this part. And we're going to hit delete. Oops, that wasn't very clean. We'll do that from... Uh, let me think from this view here. That should be a bit, uh, one more. That should be better. That's cleaner. Okay. All right. So now that we've got that, I'll hit five so you can see it a bit better. Uh, okay. Where we, yeah, here we are. Okay. So we got that guy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, that's, that's tricky. I'm trying to get closer, but it's a bit, a bit tricky to do that. Interesting. Okay, never mind. I'll do it from this end. That's okay. Okay, so we got that. And I'm going to stretch that out. Hit W, move that. Which will give you something like that. Okay. Right click, object mode, and we're going to get this thing in the neighborhood of our grid like so. We're going to hit E, we're going to rotate that by 90, minus 90. We're going to hit F to zoom in so we can see what we're talking about. Okay. 
Now we're going to uh, hit Control D. We're going to rotate that by minus 180. And we're going to move that over until these two are just connecting. Make sure there's no gap in the middle like that. Okay. We're going to select these two. We're going to go to our polygons menu, uh, mesh combine. Okay. We're going to hit control D again. We're going to got to modify the center pivot. We're going to pull that up, hit E. We're going to rotate that like so to minus 180. We're going to hit W. We're going to pull it down. So these are touching here. And now we are going to go to this view, hit the insert key. Move your center pivot point to right there, okay? And we're going to hit E, and we're going to rotate by 90, okay? Let's see if our connection is still clean here. And it's, you know, we're not going to see this later on, but just, okay. So we're going to hit Control D. We're going to move that guy over to there. Make sure that it looks okay. All right. And we're going to take that guy, hit Control D. I'll do center pivot. That will help a little bit. And move it over here. Hit F to zoom in and make sure that you have a clean connection. All right. Now, we got that thing. Select it mesh combine like so and we are going to rotate it by 90 well i'll do center pivot modify center pivot rotate it by 90 like that and the next thing is we're going to rotate it by 45 degrees so minus 45 like so Okay, now from a size perspective, we're going to make sure that it's not too big. Get it back a little bit. And it should be, uh, I'll just get in the vicinity of the pole here so I can see where we're at. Something like that. Okay, and obviously it's still pretty big, so we're going to scale that down a bit to maybe something like that. And like I said, we're going to get a high poly count on this. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control D. And we're going to move that over. Hit F to zoom in. And you can see that these two are linking together. Okay, cool. So we got that one. We're going to hit shift D and we're going to duplicate that all the way over let's see how far we are okay now that is a bit much so we're gonna get rid of the last one we're going to Drag select what we have so far. Deselect the poles. Deselect the poles. There we go. Mesh combine. And we're going to go to our front view. And let's see if we can level that out. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to go down to about there. Okay. We're going to hit control. D to duplicate that. And I'm going to start to move that up. And on my perspective view, I want to see if it's moving up to the point where we want it. Okay. A 
modify center pivot that would be about there so if we look closely you can see they're not touching that's good all right so now we've got that and we're going to hit shift d and we're going to copy that all the way up okay and as you can see the system is starting to get a bit slower right now okay but that's okay now what we're going to do is you usually have this wire going on in the middle here right that's uh i don't know what that thing is called it doesn't matter we're going to drag out a polygon cylinder i'm going to pull that up and as you can see things are starting to slow down quite a bit but it's still okay so we're going to hit e we're going to rotate that by 90 let's make that 90 what I'll do is I'll just uh, select everything go to edit delete by type and history that usually helps a little bit so I got this guy I very much hope that my system is not going to crash Okay, we're going to scale it in a bit more, make it nice and thin, something like that. We're going to push that in a little bit. So if we move it down to about there, it has clearance. Let's see if this is a good height for us. Yeah. Not bad. So we're going to start to scale this guy. Hit W, move that. We'll just switch to our front view here. looks about right we're gonna scale that some more to about there all right and then we are going to zoom in and we're gonna take these clamps that we made including no not including that including that and ah oh, come on that's what I'm looking for and That's what I'm looking for. Mesh combine. We're going to pull that down. As you can see, things are getting nice and slow. Oops. I apparently selected something over here which I don't want. Nope. There we go. Hit Control D. Apparently, I still got something selected over there, but I'll sort that in a second. Yeah, cool. Let's see what we've got going on over here. What is that? Oh, cool. It's my bolts. 
So I just need to take that clamp up there. And of course, I missed it the first time around. So let's try that again. There we go. We're going to hit Control D. We're going to pull that down. Pull it down some more. Hit F to zoom in. Need to pull that up a little bit. Okay, and uh, let's see. Looks like I need to rotate this. Modify center pivot. Well, the thing is, guys, I need to rotate these around. That is going to take a long time because of the strain on the system. But this is pretty much it. We need to tweak these clamps here that this uh, bar is aligned, and then this is the finished deal. So I'm afraid it's going to crash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it the way it is right now. So we'll just do a little bit of a, a zoom here so you can see what we got. And I think this looks pretty neat. So um, what you can do to finish this off is create little wires, you know, just uh, create a, um, uh, a polygon torus, make it really thin and connect them around the pole at uh, several spots here, here and here, up there as well to hold the, uh, the chain link in place. But all in all, uh, this is the end result, as you can see. All right. That's it. I hope you liked it. Again, this one was for Charles. I uh, hope you thought it was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.